Hey physics peeps, so in this video we're going to talk about the coffee filter lab. It's on dealing with air friction. So we choose coffee filters because coffee filters hit terminal velocity very, very quickly. So what I'm going to do is you'll notice that I set up a two meter stick in the back here, two at the top, zero at the bottom, and I'm going to take my filter from the top and then drop it and let it come down to the bottom. While it's doing that, we'll have a stopwatch running in the front here so you can start and stop the video uh, to get the exact time that I let go of it, the exact time that it hits the ground. And because it hits terminal velocity, then there is no acceleration. So we literally just have this displacement divided by the time that you get off of the part of that. So I'm going to hit the start button on the timer and we're going to go from there. In this trial, I am dropping two coffee filters. Okay, I'm going to do two filters again. This is three filters. Three filters. Four filters. Four again. Five filters. Five again, six filters, six again, seven filters, seven second time, eight filters, Eight again, nine filters, nine again, ten filters, and lastly, ten for the second time. For the second part of the coffee filter lab, we want to get two different readings. We want to get the surface area that's coming in contact with the air. And where, the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to mark the one edge of the coffee filter here, mark the other edge of the coffee filter here, and then let you measure in centimeters to the decimal place what that value is. The second one reading that we want to get is we want to get the mass of each coffee filter. So this is 10 filters. So you can see what the mass of that is off of that. And then just to double check it, we're going to put 20 filters on. And that will be the mass of the 20 filters.